Law of Detachment. When we're doing deductive reasoning, one of the laws that we're going to use is the Law of Detachment. So what is deductive reasoning? Well, that's the process of logically reasoning and drawing a conclusion when we're given a certain group of facts or a certain group of statements. Law of detachment says, if the hypotenuse, sorry, if the hypothesis P is true, then the conclusion Q is true. We write this <clears throat> like this. If P, if the hypothesis is true, then Q, the conclusion is true. This says P is true, therefore Q is true. So we're going to use the law of detachment to determine some conclusions. All right, let's look at the first one. The first one says if Mark saves $30, that's my P, he can buy a new video game. That's my Q. Mark saves $30, so my P or my hypothesis is true. Therefore, our conclusion will be that Mark can buy a video game. So if P is true, then Q. P is true. Therefore, Q is true. Okay, let's look at another example. If you are 18 years old, then you can register to vote. So if you are 18 years old, that's my hypothesis, that's my P, then you can register to vote, that's my Q. So if P is true, then Q is true. Olivia is not 18 years old. So P is not true. So there is no valid conclusion. No valid conclusion. I cannot assume that she can register to vote. Although we know that she's not 18, we don't know that she's not 24. So we have to look to make sure that the hypothesis that we're given is true. That is law of detachment.